There are rumors swirling right now around Brandon Ayuk, which isn't anything new. It's been like that all summer. And of course, within the last week, it has taken to completely new heights. But there are more rumors coming out about a potential trade to Brandon Ayuk. So I want to be crystal clear. This is a video that will be discussing the rumors that are out there and just bringing them to your attention. I know a lot of you don't like rumors and you don't like to engage in this content. So if you are one of those, feel free to exit stage left. So as we continue to look and kind of gather information across the internet, it all kind of started and really heated up yesterday amongst the 49ers fan base when Matt Mayoko put out an article basically citing multiple reporters about potential trade situation involving Brandon Ayuk and after Matt Mayoko kind of went through everything that's out there on the internet right now he essentially agreed and was stating that more than ever the 49ers are likely willing to trade Brandon Ayuk which is a dramatic turn of events from what we had heard just months prior where Brandon Ayuk under no circumstances was going to be traded well, it seems that tune has completely switched. And so these are the rumors that we're hearing that are out there online that you can go and find, but I'm going to bring them to you in one spot and I'll let you decide if you want to believe them. I'll let you give your opinion. That's the whole point of this particular video. And let's talk about it. So yesterday, Cam Marino was sourced by Matt Mayoko about a potential trade involving Brandon Ayuk. And so I found that to be pretty interesting that he that Mayoko would use him as a source. He is a lead draft writer for NFL Draft Buzz, formerly, formerly of USA Today, but he has been one of the guys kind of talking about. So his scoop was the Patriots and Browns are front runners in a trade discussion for 49ers star receiver Brandon Ayuk, according to a league source. Both teams are offering more than $30 million, though the Steelers are also in the mix. This should come down to the Patriots and Browns. So this particular was, report was put out by Cam Marino on August 2nd. And now I want you to pay attention to the Steelers being in the mix because that will be a part of the rumors that we will be talking about today. So the Patriots and Browns are potentially in the mix. So the Browns early on, you know, in the last couple of days have seemingly been what felt like the front runner for a potential Brandon Ayuk trade because according to Mary Kay Cabot, Cabot of cleveland.com, I think she's like the Matt Mayoko of uh, essentially Cleveland beat reporters. She's saying that, well, if a Brandon Ayuk trade were to, were to happen, it's a logical trade for BA for Amari Cooper. So we've heard that those rumblings that the 49ers could make that particular trade. The problem that we've been kind of, that's kind of been coming to the light and even Benjamin Albright confirmed that this has happened is that, Adam Schefter went on the Pat McAfee show and talked about how there's this essentially no trade clause for Brandon Ayuk because it doesn't matter if the 49ers work out trade compensation. It doesn't matter if the other team is willing to give the contract to Brandon Ayuk on top of the compensation. It has to be a three-party situation where Brandon Ayuk has to agree that he wants to go to that place and sign that contract. If Brandon Ayuk doesn't want to sign that contract, then he he has the leverage to say, I'm not going to this place. So the early rumors are that Brandon Ayuk and a potential trade with the Cleveland Browns for Amari Cooper was in the works. A contract was presented, and it's uh, just connecting the dots, reading the tea leaves, is that Brandon Ayuk has turned down that particular trade. So what does that leave for the Patriots? What does that leave for the Steelers that are in the mix? You know, you had 
Matt Mayoko throw out a hypothetical trade about getting Kendrick Bourne and picks back from the Steelers. I've thrown out a hypothetical trade of Matthew Judon and a second, maybe throwing Demario Douglas into the mix of that if that were to be something that were to happen. But also, when you look at both the construction of the Cleveland Browns and the Patriots, none of them feel like winners. None of them feel like they are going to be competing anytime soon. Questions at quarterback, obviously Deshaun Watson, and then the situation in New England with Jacoby Brissett and Drake May. It just doesn't sound like a quality, quality place for them. So that's where today's rumors have really started to heat up. And Cam Marino also put this out and he says, though things remain fluid between the Brandon IU camp, the 49ers and their trade partners, the Steelers have been gaining traction as Ayuk's preferred destination. I'm told despite stronger offers from other teams, Pittsburgh has emerged as a real option. So this is where now you have Steelers Twitter. We know Steelers Twitter has been infatuated with the thought process of trading for Brandon Ayuk for like four months now. So they're they're going crazy at this information. And so these are the rumors that are currently out there. There's multiple people, obviously, and we've seen there's an echo chamber out there where people just graft on to these types of reports and say similar things as if they're breaking the news as well. That's to be expected, but it, it feels like this Steelers thing is picking up steam. I think the biggest takeaway from this, and I think for a lot of 49er fans, is kind of wrapping your head around the fact that Brandon Ayuk might get traded. Because even I have carried the thought process that that wasn't going to happen. I was very adamant about it wasn't going to happen. But as things have transpired over the last month or so, it feels like there has been a significant shift in that tone. And that's exactly what Matt Mayoko said yesterday, where he was echoing the same thoughts that a trade wasn't an option, whereas now it definitely feels more likely than ever. And so you accompany that coming from, you know, a trusted beat reporter with the San Francisco 49ers. You're starting to see reports come out from other trusted beat reporters that cover those specific teams. And you're just getting this tornado of where there's smoke, there's fire, right? So I just, again, we, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if if the, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be able to trade for Brandon Ayuk. But I think what we can kind of wrap our heads around is that it does appear that Brandon Ayuk is, is on the block and that uh, a team that, all parties can agree to 49ers in, in terms of trade compensation, the trading team uh, who will be getting Ayuk, giving the contract and giving up compensation. And of course, Brandon Ayuk blessing the deal. It takes all three parties to be able to get this thing done. So we know Brandon Ayuk tweeted directly at Mike Tomlin in the middle of all this stuff all summer. So is there a real connection there? Could that be something that happens? Again, I'm just presenting the rumors to you. I know a lot of people don't like rumors. I know a lot of people, I can already see the comments filling up right now, clickbait, all this type of stuff. It is what it is. If you don't want to engage in this type of content, then you have all the right in the world to skip on right past this video. But the thing is, there is some smoke out here, and it is feeling more real as the days and hours go by. Does that mean it's a foregone conclusion? It's going to happen one way or the other? No, it doesn't. It just means this is what's out there. This is what's being discussed in an open space. And I want to share it with you. And I want you to be able to discern if you think this is worth any of your time, if this is worth anything at all. And you could tell me that below in the comments. This is a platform to be able to have conversation, to be able to look at information and present opinions and thoughts that's what we're doing here 
these are just things that have been out there. These are things that are being discussed. We're looking at the trends of who's discussing them. Okay, credible people are discussing them. Okay, does that give it more weight or does it not? And I'll let you decide about that in the comments. I'm not here to tell you one way or the other. I'm simply giving you the information to allow you to be able to make the opinions. And on top of that, not be blindsided by anything. So you guys let me know what you think about all of this. Let me know what you think about these rumors. Do you think there's any weight to them? Do you think these are baseless rumors? Do you think this is clickbait? More kind of engagement farming type of thing by these reporters and things of that nature. I want to know from you. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.